Welcome back everyone, Grogen here, and today we're going to try a game called Adernia Done. Now, this game, from looking at the Steam page, it looks like it was made by some school students, and the teacher commented on one of the, on the comments. So, we're going to give it a go, it's free to play on Steam if anyone is interested. So let's see, Ladenia Don is a game set in 1918 France. The text and dialogues are therefore in French. Only the text and menus will be translated into English. Okay, so we might not know what's going on. And it says it's best played with the controller, so we're already in trouble. We're already in trouble. So let's go. There's no, I don't believe there's any graphic settings. We got volume, brightness, sensitivity. So we're just going to go and start the game. But it's free. It's only sure from what I've seen or from what I've read on the page. So, let's see how we get on. Let's see how we get on. I want to thank everyone for coming back as well. It really does mean a lot. Hope you have been enjoying the new games on the series. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Who is it? Knocking on the door. So, we're a girl at the end of the war in an orphanage. And some weird stuff's going on by the sounds of it. Okay, so we can move around a little bit. In this room, we have got our bed. And that this is a tiny little room, isn't it? Can we look through the door? Look through the people. Look at the knuckles. <laughs> oh, how many eyes has she got? She's got like five eyes and one of them sewn up. And two of them can't see. <gasps> oh, she's got a key. She's got a key. Is she just opening it for us? <gasps> Do we have to go out? <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're in a dorm room. Looks like we were locked up, doesn't it? Or is that our own personal little room? What the hell is that? Okay, well, it looks <laughs> like she's been having a bad time in here, right? So let's get going and see where we end up. I don't know what we've got to look for. Oh, God, there's a little moving teddy bear. Okay, do we have to be quiet so we don't wake her up? Oh, she's gone. Sister Madeline. Uh, is that something on there? No. Something important, though. Let's get out the room. There's a bit of paper there. Let's read this. Dear Dad, how are things over there? I hope you're doing well. At the orphanage these days, I'm sometimes a bit sad. Sister Madeline has been looking worried lately, and that makes us all a little worried. At school, I have as much fun as I can with my friends. But I often think of you, and I'd really like you to come back soon. Take good care of yourself, okay? I look forward to seeing you. Louis. Okay. Okay, is she the one who was just in the other room? Oh, she's gone again. <laughs> she's gone again. How many days have passed since what? Since what? Okay, we're in the next... This is grim, this place. Is that a hand up there? Is that a hand? The inside up. Let's check the side first. <laughs> oh my word. If you were a little kid in an orphanage and you're seeing this, you would trap yourself. Well, he's seen better days. He's seen better days. Let's just leave him. Oh, hang on. There was something on the table. A bucket. Oh my, there's a head. Someone's cooking people. <laughs> Okay. I don't know whether there's anything else to check. It doesn't look like... There seems to be arrows and stuff what you can do, doesn't it? Okay. Well, we might need to escape this orphanage because things are looking kind of bad. Oh, we haven't got a key. Oh, we got to search a dead body for a key. We do. Maybe these could be of use. Keys added to inventory. We've unlocked it. We've opened it. Okay. I can hear buzzing. Sounds like electricity. Isn't that weird? The way the faces and the hands are coming out of the wall. Looks like someone's gone over the edge there. I wonder. I thought we might have to go that way because it looks like it's blocked off halfway down the stairs. What's that in the window? Oh, shit. Oh, well, we got a doorway. Oh. I can hear growling. What is that? What is that? I hope we haven't got a turn and run. <laughs> I was say, hope we haven't got a turn and run because I don't think we can sprint. Oh, God, what was that? I don't know. 
check it. Oh, is there another dead guy? Yeah, is there anyone there? Yeah, there is someone there, but he's not looking too good. He's got a note on his head. Dear Sister Madeline, I hope you're doing well despite the dark days we're going through. War is raging around us each day, bringing its own share of suffering and loss. But despite it all, I persevere, driven by the hope of a better future for each and every one of us. My thoughts turn to you every day, looking forward to the day when we can finally meet again. Take good care of yourself and the children who depend on your compassion and devotion. With all my love, Pierre Lefebvre. And down the stairs we go. Is that a head on the floor? Oh, it's a little teddy. It's like a little dog. And a, sh a leg. A leg. Right, there's a passageway to the right. With whatever looks like a bloody brain door. That's shut. Is that another note? October. 23rd of October 1918. Things are getting weirder at the orphanage. Orphan <laughs> Things are getting weirder at the orphanage. Many of my friends have gone to get treatments and we're very few now. It's so quiet here and it scares me a little bit. Sister Madeline looks very bad these days. She's pale and tired. She says it's nothing but I see she's in pain. I hope she gets better soon. She's our only protection here. Last night I had the strange I had to take a strange medication. It made me sleepy and I started having strange things. Shadows were dancing around me and I felt like something was looking at me in the dark. It was terrifying. I don't know what's going on here, Journal. But I feel something very dark is happening and I hope this will all end soon. See you tomorrow, Journal. Well, we don't really want to go through that door, so I'm kind of glad it doesn't open. What is this? Little toys and stuff for the kids? We've got a broken lamp. A boarded up door with... Someone with an axe in his face. The entrance is blocked. Are, uh, are there any survivors? I don't know. Let's go it this way. Another head on it. This is creepy. <laughs> Right, we can't go left by the looks of it, but we'll try that door first. Is it a door? It is. Is that a head? I say monster. I mean, it's in French, but it looks like monster to me. Hey, what's this on the floor? Is that like uh, one of them dolls you stick pins in? I forgot what they're called. <laughs> Squeaks. Good job of the dogs, didn't they? That? Oh, shit. Alright, we see a creepy monster and we're going to go through the door. Albert's plushie added to the inventory. Okay, so it wasn't one of them dolls. Okay, so we've got x-ray pictures. We've got... I don't know what we... We've got music playing. Creepy, isn't it? It's quite atmospheric for a group of, like, students. I thought that was a way around there then. More blood. Oh, it's a little... Is it called a gramophone? Can we turn it off? No. We got something on the table. Or oh, we can turn this one around. Don't know what that says. I don't know what that says. But a secret code. Oh, secret code 1897. A secret code added to inventory 1897. Okay, 18. One. Eight, nine, seven. What did we do? Oh, we opened the secret door. <laughs> this just gets creepier and creepier, doesn't it? Pair of glasses. Oh, we're entering the lift. How do we go up or down? Is there a button somewhere? Oh, there we go. The Mara, I'm guessing that's the basement or the ground floor. I don't know which side we're going to come out. I'd like to be able to see where we're going now, so we're just going to stand in this corner so we can see which one opens. Right, so it looks like it's that way. Looks like it's that way. Got another little doorway at the end of the passage. We got body, we got heads in glasses. We got heads in glasses. What kind of orphanage is this? Kind of makes it look like they're all religious. You see the um, angels and stuff? What is that down there? Well, there's someone in the chair. There's someone in the chair, and that's all we can really see down there. Let's see. It's wet here. It's a little bit wet. Right, through the door. 
I wish I could run. I wish I could run. We got it. Oh, this is like prison. <laughs> Isn't it? It's like a prison cell. God. What the hell are you? Can you ask us? No. Oh. That cost me a little bit, that one. Something's broke out. Something's broke out. Glass everywhere. Here we go, here we go. Right, we're going into that room where there's someone in the um Oh no Is it someone she knows? He's still alive. Avec la fin de la guerre, nous He's breathing. À obligation les With the end of the war, we are putting an end to the obligation to operate on your guinea pigs. You are now free to dispose of your experiments as you see fit. Nevertheless, we ask you to completely take subjects such as Albert out of the picture. The confidentiality of this information is crucial. Relying on your discretion, thank you for your service and understanding. Yours respectfully, General Henry Dubois, French Army. General Henry Dubois, Army Française. Oh my god. Um, oh, he's just threw the guy <laughs> out the room. Oh. oh, we can't do anything. Kick it, kick it in the mouth. Kick it in the mouth. Who are you? <laughs> she was the one looking through the door. Oh, we're giving it a plushie. I don't know whether we just angered it or... Or what? You okay? Are you nice? You let us out though, didn't you? So you might be a nice one. And you're offering your hand. But then you're done. So that was like the intro. Oh, was that it? Was that it? Okay, so this might be like a 10 minute game kind of cool for a little school project that was actually pretty good for a little school project that was so good and um i'd have carried on playing if it was longer i'd have carried on playing if it was longer you know what it was good free to play if you want to try it it's on steam go and check it out i want to say a massive thank you to all the people who signed up on the patreon joined as members it really does mean a lot thank you so much for all the support um don't forget to subscribe like the video and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching everyone bye